And from Morocco, we're going to head to Japan. So there are that not that many rides in Epcot, if that's your thing. It's more to get a taste of different countries, sample different food and snacks. Learn a little bit more about the individual countries themselves. I'm not sure if that's the price, $250. I think it might well be. I'm guessing you get uh, all of those courses. Even allowing for import taxes, the prices of some of the goods in the country shops was really expensive, even allowing for the prices that Disney usually charge. It's worth saying that everyone who serves in the restaurants and the shops in individual lands actually comes from the country. Some your eye wrapped with the swords. You're right, lucky time. Deal about the sense. She had those when I went to Japan, they are really nice. Strawberry, orange Kit Kats. Snacks are available here. They look quite tasty. Oh, sushi. And in the middle is the lake where the laser and fireworks take place in the evening. I'm just coming into Mexico. There's a restaurant and a Mexican themed market inside the pyramid. I'll take you in in a moment. Okay, so let's have a look inside the pyramid. <laughs> As you will see, this particular part of Mexico is heavily influenced by the Disney Encanto movie. This is set out like a Mexican market. As I also mentioned in part one of the video, I will also show you the foods and snacks that are available in the Countries Around World Showcase, as well as taking you on the rides with me. So San Angalin restaurant, lunch menu. Dinner menu. Well, that is the restaurant itself. Hacienda de San Angel. See what they do in there. Just outside, like up a bit from London. The journey of water, inspired by the Moana movie, opened in October 2023. And as you can see, is a small garden featuring interactive fountains and other water features which tell the story of water and its importance to life on Earth. Just an educational thing really, uh, how we get water on the planet.
it's actually quite interesting that gives you a great chance to pull off from the heat of the Florida sun. See what food is on offer at Connections Eatery. Which is directly opposite Mission Space and Test Track. Oh. All the drinks are pretty standard in all the Disney resorts and the parks. Be aware though that outside of the countries of World Showcase, this is the main eating place for Epcot, so you may have to wait a short time for a table. Lovely burger and fries, all filled up now for the rest of the day. Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind ride, really, really popular in Epscot. We had to book our place in the ride at 7 a.m. this morning, and it is now quarter to four, and we have our place. So if you want to ride this ride, you're going to have to make early arrangements to make sure you can. This ride opened in May 2022. It is Epcot's first roller coaster and Disney's first backwards okay. launch roller coaster. This plane is never going to work. Rocket. Well, okay, I've walked onto your vehicle. We'll be right behind you. Nothing to worry about. Unless we cannot stop this unusually large man, then you are likely doomed. Dress. Good luck. He's going to need it. Parents, this is Centurion Merrick again. We're having a little bit of trouble with our ship's airlock, and it appears we need to open it manually. Now, no one has ever had to do that before, and to be perfectly honest, we don't know where the instructions are on how to open it. We're looking everywhere, and we do appreciate your patience. Please, remain seated. We will have this solved and get you back to the mission as quickly as possible. What? We have to open the airlock? <laughs> Oh, we got it! You're good to go! Let's do it!
So Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind, absolutely awesome ride. My favorite ride of everything I've been on in the last 10 days, including Tron, including Expedition Everest. It's a bit drawn out to get to the actual roller coaster itself because it is an indoor coaster in the dark, but it is absolutely excellent. And the soundtrack, which can be a random one of six different songs, is absolutely awesome. If you come to Epcot, it's a must really. It's very popular. There's long waiting times, but it really, really is worth it. Highly recommended. Norway. I've got a thing about Vikings, Vikings and Samurai. Who wants to go? Who else has a hammer? Stand underneath him. Stand underneath him. The cakes and pastries in this bakery in Norway were really, really lovely and highly recommended. From Norway, we moved to China. The joy of tea. There is a show in there, The Modern Wonders of China. I won't go in because I probably won't be able to film that anyway. Hello, sir. How are you? is Ganesha, one of the Hindu gods. I'm not quite sure why that's in China. I think China is my favorite part of World Showcase. I was lucky enough to visit China a few years ago. And it brings back a lot of memories of that trip for me. Sadly, I wasn't doing YouTube then, so I've got nothing to catch it on China, but I did a road trip to Shanghai, Beijing, and Zhan. I really, really enjoyed my time in China. To you an idea of what's on offer in China in this lot. Funnel cake prices. As you've seen from part one and part two of the video, the weather in Florida can change really, really quickly from brilliant hot sunshine one minute to pouring down of rain the next. So please do make sure you are prepared for all eventualities and visiting this park and the others. USA! Food here in the US, as I saw the other day, is hot dogs, burgers, funnel cakes, pizza, the stuff really that the US is sort of famous for by way of snacks. Smokehouse restaurant.
I'm gonna have the Joffreys. Into Italy. That's a, a gelateria. Different flavours of gelatos and milkshakes. I have to say, Joffrey's ice lattes are really good. A replication of Venice. Tutto Italia restaurant. Let's just see what the menu is here. Sky is looking very, very ominous. Look at the clouds in there. From Italy, we cross the border into Germany and a replication of Bavarian. Flocks and crafts. Cuckoo cups. Hello. Very cool. Every country has at least two or three restaurants, at least a couple of shops to go around. But the whole Epcot experience is really getting a taste of. The different countries around World Showcase, get a flavour of the food, the things they sell in the shops, the architecture. It's all done really, really well, I think. Before we found our spot for the fireworks, we had to take shelter as there was yet another heavy thunderstorm. But my top tip will be to try and get your spot around the lake about 45 minutes before the fireworks and laser show begin, because the crowds can be quite deep. I thought I would show you a glimpse of the fireworks and laser show after I signed off from the video. Cop, hope you've enjoyed the video. If you do have any questions or comments, please do put them in the comments below. I've tried to do in this video, just give you a flavour of the sort of things that you can eat, see and do in Epcot. You obviously can't cover everything on a short video, but I hope I've done it justice. If you have enjoyed the video, please do give me a thumbs up like as it will really help the channel to grow. And please do consider subscribing if you like the content because it will again really help my channel to grow. I've done a number of videos since I've been in Florida. If you haven't checked those out, I've done a full review of the Disney All-Star Movies Resort where me and my family are staying. I've done a video of Disney Springs, Animal Kingdom, Magic Kingdom and Disney's Hollywood Studios. So if you have a chance to check those out, please do. Thanks as always for watching and I'll catch you on the next video. Cheers. Oh, my God.